My name is Urmila. I'm with Hindus for Human Rights and thinking about the fact that the, as of June 6th, 2020, the arrests that have been going on in India, the um, just unjustifiable arrests of primarily Muslims and Dalits that have been going on in India, that it will have been two years. Um, I feel the whole gamut of emotions, you know, grief, maybe naively still disbelief, anger, um, frustration of at how is this going to change, um, because two years is a significant increment of, of, hum of our human lives, and at the same time it feels when these arrests are still happening, despite everything, it feels like we've stalled, you know, it feels like no time has passed, which can feel disheartening. Um, so I wanted to share one poem that is somewhat grimly heartening by a poet called um, Cesar Vallejo, and it's called Masses. When the battle was over and the fighter was dead, a man came toward him and said to him, Do not die, I love you so. But the corpse, how sad, went on dying. And two came near and repeated it. Do not leave us. Courage, return to life. But the corpse, how sad, went on dying. Twenty arrived, a hundred, a thousand, five hundred thousand, shouting, so much love, and it can do nothing against death. But the corpse, how sad, went on dying. Millions of persons stood around him, all with the same request. Stay here, brother. But the corpse, how sad, went on dying. Then all the men on the earth stood around him. The corpse looked at them sadly, deeply moved. He sat up slowly, put his arms around the first man, started to walk. And this poem always reminds me that despite everything, it's amazing the people who, despite the threat of arrest, continue to fight. And it's amazing that we still have the power to rally around them. Um, and we, and we can, we do.